Okay. Okay, let's start. Here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the webinar. We are in Jan 3rd of 2017. So this is actually a quite an ideal time to just look at what's going on, where we are, you know, from various angles. And that's the problem with the markets is that you have to look at it from various angles. And that basically anything that will impact the financial markets and nowadays it looks like anything pretty much can. So, uh, you know, and especially this year. So because there's lots of stuff going on. You know, why are we, you know, why is 2017 in my mind, by the way, and this is, uh, this has to be a, a disclaimer. This is my opinion. Okay. It doesn't, it's not corroborated by anybody. It's not been consulted, verified, uh, checked off, nothing. Okay. So that is my disclaimer. And it is actually on the, um, on the on the page that we're going to go see and I'll point it out there as well. So it's only my opinion. So, you know, so why is my opinion uh, uh, great or anything? It's not. I mean, you know, everybody's going to have an opinion. Even the professional analysts are going to have an opinion. But does that mean that they're going to be right? No, absolutely not. Nobody's going to be right. And that's, you know, really the beauty of the markets is that not one person is going to be right. I mean, they might be right on one thing, but they'll be wrong on something else. The... Because, and that's why even technical analysis, see, it's a study of crowd behavior, right? And it becomes so important in situations like this because everybody's looking at each other and wondering, okay, what's going to happen this year? Uh, and nobody wants to make take the first move. So, but when somebody comes in, some big players come in and start putting in big money into something, the rest will follow. I mean, that's just crowd behavior. And technical analysis basically, you know, its fundamental premise is that crowds behave in predictable matters, which is very true. Okay, so it's a great, uh, you know, uh, it, it, there, is a great, there is a lot of opportunity, okay, in this year. But first, I want to wish everybody a happy new year, happy 2017, and your families as well. And 2017 is actually a pivotal year, in my opinion, again. And uh, so, but this is the year we've got to break out, okay? This is the year you got to break out because there is a lot of uncertainty that, you know, coming up. And so if you wanted to, you know, we've all invested a lot of time, money, resources, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, it has to pay back sometime. And I'm saying that we need to get that payback this year and with a little urgency. OK, so that's what uh, this webinar is going to be. And of course, there's also going to be another one. And, you know, basically what I just said is, is your, you know, Option Tiger is being reinvented uh, with a little, you know, like I said, a, a sense of urgency. It's not panic. It's not fear, but it's just a sense of urgency that we got to do it now. And if I can get this stupid quick style out of my way, I would be doing well. And I have no idea how to do that. Huh? Damn it. Okay, let's not worry about it. Uh, maybe I can push the window out or, I don't know. God damn it. Okay, all right guys, let's just move on, you know, small thing. Okay, so I think pretty much everybody knows, I mean, well, not everybody, of course, people who just joined uh, Option Tiger in the last uh, few months may not uh, have heard from me uh, live. That's because I have been, I've had some issues on my end. And so I've been sort of out of the loop but one thing I figured was my pictures are getting stale there because it's many years old. So I decided to change it. This is my current look. And uh, so, you know, just to have something different there, we are, of course, Option Tiger 2.0. And that means, you know, got to have a different picture there. But, uh, you know, I've been an options trader for 10 years. And so I also have, a, you know, a couple of ebooks and I, I do mentoring as well on Udemy. Of course, I'm a best selling educator uh, in the finance and trading uh, space. I have a bachelor's degree in engineering from India and an MBA from Columbia Business School and uh, as well as London. So now let's get going because, you know, there is, like I said, there's a sense of urgency this year and we've got to do something about it. OK, you can't just simply sit back and let things happen because that's not going to be healthy for you. I mean, OK, if you're not invested in the market at all, then that's fine. But if there is risk, there is also reward. Remember that people only think like, oh, you know, uh, the other way around, but it's not. When there is risk, there is reward. Think of John Paulson, 2008, right? I think many people must know him. Uh, he made $4 billion from the housing crisis, okay? John Paulson. And so did many others. And so what we're saying is there is opportunity here. 
we have to be vigilant and we have to be able to identify when those opportunities may come and what are the sort of indicators that something is going to happen along these lines, okay? Because nobody knows what is going to happen. Let me tell you that crystal clear. No analyst knows the CEO of Goldman Sachs does not know, okay? I mean, that's just the fact of it. Yeah, they might have, you know, some deep insights, <laughs> of course. But uh, other than that, nobody knows for a fact what's going to happen because now we are talking about things like, you know, we, you know, we are talking about things like pretty much out of, you know, any one entity or country or, you know, market or whatever you want to call it. It's completely out of everybody's hands. And so let's take a look at what those are. If you've been watching or, you know, just have your finger on the pulse on the news at least, just, you know, a uh, very tertiary uh, look at the news, you'll see that, you know, there is something going on. There is something going on. You know, global threats are coming from all directions. Uh, there's talk of new world orders being, you know, birthed right now. Um, there are uncertainty amongst, you know, in the leaders themselves, superpower conflicts, trade wars, and recent elections in the US, UK, and Italy clearly show that you know people's sentiments are changing okay there's something going on we still don't have a, a finger on it but there is something going on now the the games that the federal reserve play and you know the artificial market levels and the artificial levels of stocks they've been out of control for the last few years in fact after the crisis and today i mean they've always been very high and today it's at peak so which means what if you're already at your peak, you're borrowed up to your neck. And frankly, uh, you know, the Federal Reserve, if you look at it, if the Federal Reserve was just an ordinary customer, they would be declared bankrupt. There's no question about it. Okay. So they have like, uh, you know, a, if if we are supposed to have a debt to, uh, you know, credit rate, I mean, um, what is it? Uh, debt to asset ratio of, uh, you know, 35%, 40% maximum. If you go over the 50% threshold, People generally don't give you, extend your credit. I mean, that's the situation we are in. But the Fed, believe it or not, they have 98% debt and 2% assets, okay? So that's how bad the situation is. And that's been going on for a while. Artificial market levels, what do I mean? I mean, it's not that there is a conspiracy or anything, but by simply by keeping interest rates at zero, boomers, baby boomers and retirees what are they going to do with that? I mean, they're a very wealthy moneyed class. Okay, let's you know, let's face that. What are they going to do with their money if they're going to get zero percent? So they're automatically, uh, not forcibly, but they're automatically channeled into the stock market, and that's what has been you know going on. It's been the stock market's been rising, and it's just going out of control as far as the stock market is concerned. You know, they say 12 million jobs. And in, with all these financial numbers, you've got to understand you, you, the, the, the numbers that you see on TV and on the you know, headlines is not the real numbers, okay? So just in America right now, we have, uh, yes, Obama can claim he created 12 million jobs. And by the way, you know, none of this is political from my side, okay? I, I'm just looking at it from an economic, from a business perspective. So it's not a political statement at all. Obama can claim that he created 12 million jobs. But who did the Excel manipulate? I mean, not manipulation. Who did the Excel calculations and, you know, uh, looked at various segments of the population? Where were the jobs created? Where were the jobs uh, lost? If you look at that, we are basically sending $100,000 jobs away from the country and giving out your burgers, you know, burger flippers and, you know, those kinds of jobs. It's very low value jobs. There's no real, uh, you know, beyond the basic skills, there's really nothing involved over there. So we are eroding value. So that's a problem. Second problem is let's make no bones about it. We are indebted like crazy, okay? 20 trillion or not, by now it's probably 22. So all these factors are converging in some sense. You can feel it, you know, the, the, the tensions between uh, uh, Russia and us, <laughs> which is, you know, absolutely dangerous. And not just Russia and us. I mean, there's China, there's all these guys, North Korea, Iran. I mean, there's plenty of players around the world who now believe that they are strong and powerful to, you know, oppose any any world power. I mean, you know, in, in a way that's good. But 
The problem is some of these are very rogue states with rogue leaders. Okay, so if you look at it from that angle and you're wondering what's going to happen in 2017, you have your antennas are going berserk basically. Okay, why? Why is it going berserk? Anybody? Anybody? And I, we can't even chat now. That's horrible. Uh, where's the chat? Man, it's terrible. Anyway, so I'll have to move on. Um, so, you know, it's coming up. Why? Because Jan 20th or whatever, Mr. Trump comes into the White Office. I mean, White House. So the, uh, the point is, not that I'm, you know, we have to be against him or, you know, again, it's not political. But he is, let's face it, he's pretty unpredictable guy, right? I mean, and he can, you know, uh, just by a quick, uh, you know, whiff of things, you know, he can, he can create anything, any kind of damage. So that is a big scare. And not just for the US, the rest of the world is even more scared <laughs> of Mr. Trump. So, you know, that's the big thing coming up in January itself. So... If you look at your normal indicators to see what's going on and, you know, how would you determine what is what is the overall general high level risk in the market? Um, you know, people generally go to the VIX and I'm, I'm going to be, you know, there are some things I want to do today, which is, you know, show the real deal. OK, I mean, because this is, uh, you know, it's frankly, uh, it's just not acceptable that uh, even, you know, institutions like CBOE, are so, uh, what to say, they, 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 you know, they know they're not telling the truth, but, you know, but they don't want to correct it. So what I mean is, like, if you go to the CBOE and, uh, you know, why CBOE? Let's just go to think of you know. So I'll, I'll open that in a bit. But if you go to CBOE, you'll see that, you know, they'll, they'll give you nicely all the, um, right? Slash trade mix. Okay, let's see that. Okay, so here they're giving you a, a VIX level of 12.85. That must be at, at close of market today, okay? 12.85 and it reduced by 1.19. Markets must have gone up. I wasn't checking at all today. Um, but I mean, this is crazy. 12.85, I mean, it's pretty much at its lowest level. Would you think that the VIX would be at this level when there is a lot of these uncertainties that are just looming over here, you know? Uh, I, so the VIX is just not a reflector of volatility. It's, it may be a reflector of fear because when put options are bought, that's when the VIX goes up, which by itself is a completely flawed approach. Why would the VIX is supposed to be a volatility index, which means it should react to up movements and down movements fairly you know, equally, right? But it doesn't. It is based on the demand for put options. Clear calls are not even mentioned in you know into the calculations of the VIX, so that by itself tells you it's not a volatility index. It's just a fear index because whenever people buy puts, people are scared. Right? So that's what it is. So you know, right there, you can see that you know this is not. I mean, we are not really getting you know honest data from the market in many ways. This is just one way. I'm just I want to point out this because people say, oh, VIX is at 12, you know, come on, forget it. Nothing's going to happen, right? You know, it's just crazy to me. Now, let's, I think they have a three month, and, and if you go into the, um, the, uh, the details of the VIX, uh, let's see, VIX futures is what we want. Okay. So because the VIX is calculated from VIX futures. So that way it's a different kind of derivative. So here, um, if you see the VIX, they'll give you three months. Yeah, right there. Okay. 01, 02 or whatever. The current VIX is here. And then the next three, I believe, are quarters. Okay. So this would be the end of the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, which will run into the end of the year. So the VIX futures or the VIX index rather is calculated based upon the underlying asset, which is the VIX futures. So what is VIX futures telling us here? You know, that current level is this. Next month is going to be, I mean, next quarter is going to be this. Uh, then after that is going to be that. And the final quarter is going to be 13.82. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, this is ridiculous. We're going to see the VIX shoot up, uh, you know, to 20 and 25 and 30. When 
one of these, you see, and today it doesn't need a whole lot to sort of, you know, put the entire world in some sort of, a, you know, instable condition, okay? Yeah, it really doesn't take that much at all. And I'm not even mentioning things, you know, other things like uh, your, uh, you know, Iran and Iraq and not Iran that much, but Iraq and uh, your Syria and all of that stuff. Um, you know, you think the VIX is going to be between 12 and 30 or maybe say say 14, it's 13.82, 12 and 14 all year. That's just crap. It's not going to happen. So my thesis is, and, I, and I've been looking at this for the past month, month, month and a half when, the, you know, when we had some time. I don't think we should go by the VIX at all. I mean, VIX says nothing. Okay. The VIX says nothing. So we have to look for other indicators. And I believe, so I was talking to a finance guy uh, over the holidays, and I believe what the professionals are looking at is something called a... Uh, oh my God, it's full? What do you mean it's full? I have 500, right? I don't know. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. Uh, 51? What the hell? Okay, I'll have to check, check that out. But basically, the finance guy is telling me that today, the volatility by the professionals is calculated by, damn, what is it? Jesus Christ. Today, the volatility is calculated by, I'm just, I'm just gonna shorten it up, by this, the spread between, the spread between the exchange rates of all the major Damn, I just told you no. Okay, of all the major currencies of the world. Okay. Now this makes sense to me. I mean, he said that I was like, why didn't why doesn't somebody do this all the time? Because that's really what where the risk is being demonstrated or it's being, you know, uh, displayed rather. This is great between the major currencies. So because when risk comes on, what happens? Anybody? I mean, you, uh, do you guys think about this? I mean, I, I for one, do not look at the spread of uh, between the exchange rates of all the major currencies. I definitely do not. But once he said that, it makes a lot of sense because the first thing and the real true thing that measures the fear or the uncertainty or any kind of uh, you know negative events happening is first reflected by foreign exchange rates. Okay. okay, so who's a safe haven? Who's not? Where should I move money from? To where? You know, these are the questions that are being asked immediately when there is a sense of fear in the market. He's saying this parameter, the spread between the exchange rates, and, and you know, there, there's various relationships between one and another. And also, it's all very complex in, in the Forex market. I'm not going to go into that. But he's saying the spreads are the worst they are ever seeing so far. Okay, that is as of the end of the uh, 2016. It's, it's, it, these spreads are at a very, very high level, okay? Which means that the people who are playing market maker to those, they know there is risk there. And that's why the bid-ass spread is so, you know, so wide. So that's, that's a true indicator of risk, okay? So these kind of things are happening. And, you know, let's not even talk about manipulation in terms of, you know, interest rates and inflation. Forget about it. It's, it's been manipulated from many, many uh, years already. So... The thing is, ultimately, when would the system break down, right? I mean, <laughs> because really, I mean, you know, there are forces that can make it break down, like we saw in 2008, but this time it's going to be even, even bigger, like five, ten times bigger. So what is it that will cause the entire pyramid to start collapsing? There is only one thing, okay? And that is the trust that investors, domestic plus foreign, 
plus institutional plus um, bond markets, which is the most important. Okay, so you know in the bond markets, if the you if I mean if the all investors if they stop buying America uh, U.S. bonds, for example, we are in deep trouble because we have to literally roll over our debt pretty much every month. What every month, every week, something is you know expiring and new thing will start. So, but if that money doesn't come in, I mean, we are running what you know, we're running a national debt of twenty trillion and perhaps a budget deficit uh, each year of maybe a cup, you know, one or two trillion. I think I, I don't know the exact number, but that money has to come from somewhere, and it's you know, it's got, and it's right now it's coming from foreign investors. So basically, what it's telling us is that the entire world is placing their trust that the U.S. will not go down. And I say that's a very you know, flawed thinking, but the way the world stands right now is that for if the U.S. goes down, everything is going down. All markets are going down, okay? Because everybody's dependent on the U.S. markets for something or the other, whether it's you know, goods, services, uh, automobiles, whatever it is, okay? So, uh, and, and, and that's why I feel you know, all, the, all these major countries like Japan and China, who's got like plenty of money invested in the U.S., they know that they cannot let the U.S. go down. And so right now, even though the U.S. might be considered to be the most bankrupt person out there, but investors are, are still trusting. Why? Why? Because, you know, things may, be, things may look bad to us over here. But if you go there, you know, that, those places are even more screwed up. So they have no outlet. And not only that, just from a leadership point of view, from a technology, from a human progress uh, point of view, no other country can really kind of do the kind of thinking that has taken you know, us this far in the last 150 years. And therefore, they're not confident anybody can do it. And so uh, what do they do? Make sure that the US doesn't go down. Of course, like I said, this is all my opinion and my way of thinking about why, what, uh, you know, why not and all that kind of stuff, okay? So, all right. So, you know, to sort of summarize this whole, uh, you know, part of it is that there is risk out there, okay? I mean, let's not, let's not uh, make it, uh, I mean, let's not think that's not the case. There is plenty of risk. And for this thing to show 12.85 is just completely ridiculous. So we have to have our own methods, okay? Now, in 2017, because... There are various, like I said, catalysts you might call, like Trump coming in and, you know, something else is happening. I mean, Putin is, of course, like, you know, he's, uh, uh, you know, roaming around the world like he owns it, which I think he does, uh, you know, at this point. But, um, you know, things are happening. Things are happening at a lower level where the masses cannot actually see it. But when it starts coming out in the open, there's going to be some price to pay. And besides, in the US now, we cannot do any more quantitative easing or who are we going to take money from? You know, we'll have to go to Mars or something, you know, because once the general population of the world loses their confidence and their trust in the US government or in, in the US, uh, well, it is the US government because they're, they're loaning their money to the US government. But in general, if they are not confident that the United States can pull itself out with, uh, you know, with... Um, a decent amount of, um, you know, with not a lot of, you know, damage, then, uh, you know, we can pull through. We can pull through. We can be meaning like the entire world. But if the United States cannot pull through, oh boy, now you're looking at some serious stuff. Now, obviously, you know, this is all like you know, worst case scenario, whatever you might want to call it. But if you don't see this, especially given that, you know, Trump is coming, and I mean, more and more like, you know, very controversial people are leading some huge countries. So, you know, this is going to become a problem as we go along. You know, anybody that took my, um, my uh, uh, what is that? The macro uh, finance course, basically like, you know, beginners, I, mean, I just give a high level overview. In that, I made those courses in, in, in 2012, right? I mean, that's like almost four or five years ago now. And in that, I said also, hey, the US, <laughs> the, the US is a profligate spender. At one point, you're going to have to pay the price, pay this price. And I, over the years, I've received mails from many people. Hey, your bond trade is not going well. I said, no, of course not. It is going well because I also showed you, we, I also told you that it's going to take time. We don't know how much time actually. And until then, in the bond trade, actually you'll be in like a three-digit profit margin because I showed you the way 
to recover bits and pieces all through, all the time, as long as that bond market uh, is still, uh, you know, functioning. So, you know, see, interest rates are zero, okay? It can go any lower. I mean, they can do some manipulation with the, you know, mortgage securities or, uh, you know, subprime for cars or whatever. But, you know, that, those are all very small amounts. So, we are, you know, we are right there on the limit. We really cannot do much anymore. And uh, again, not a, not a political statement, but, you know, anything that comes up in front of a Republican House, a Republican uh, uh, Senate, and a Republican president is never going to, I mean, whatever the Democrats propose. I mean, Hillary Clinton went around saying $5 trillion for infrastructure. Yes, where are you going to get the money from? She did not have an answer. Nobody has an answer for these things because we have borrowed to the hilt. Okay, all right, I'm not going to play that anymore. Let's move on. So I feel that because of some changes in the world happening, especially like Donald Trump coming into power, uh, we we may be looking at a very, you know, very uh, what looks like, you know, not a whole lot of risk, but it could it could spiral anytime. So that was my point with that slide on uh, uh, Snagit. Okay, situation can spiral out of control quickly. Okay, so we always have to be now in 2017, we need to watch for this. Now, there is also a flip side. By some miraculous turn of events, if you know, Putin backs down or, uh, you know, become, you know, the US and Russia become more friendly, uh, you know, who knows? I mean, you know, they were they even uh, thought to be working together. I mean, like, you know, Trump and Putin uh, and uh, basically hack the, hack the elections or whatever. Regardless, well, you know, I'm not looking at any of that, but perhaps this guy, I mean, one thing you, you have to understand is, you know, I mean, we all have to understand is very smart. I mean, no one person can pull this kind of a game, you know, uh, he demolished the Republicans and then the Democrats. I mean, unbelievable. And he, and he did it all alone. Okay. So this guy has something in him. But so if he uses it to good purposes and perhaps, you know, brings about some kind of, uh, you know, stalemate at the very least with uh, Russia and China, but China is totally against. I mean, <laughs> so we don't know how this is all going to, going to play out. Okay. I mean, and granted, nothing is going to play out this week or next week or even perhaps by the end of the year. But these are things in the background that can potentially impact everything, not just financial, financial markets. Of course, they're going to impact. But even your, you know, your society, your social life, your earnings capacity, all of that is going to, can be impacted. Let me say it is going to be impacted, but it can be impacted if things go down that path. And 2017 is, I think that there has to be some resolution to all this stuff going on with nobody caring about the consequences of what they're doing. The feds were the only person who did quantitative easing in 2008 and 2009, okay? Only government, major government in the world. In fact, the Euro uh, Central Bank, who was there at that time? Mario Draghi, I think. Draghi said, no, 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 we are not going to engage in uh, buying our own bonds and this and that. That is uh, very immoral and, uh, you, know, you know, unethical. And he gave his own, you know, all kinds of adjectives to describe that uh, process. Hey, guess what happened in 2011 when they got hit by the Greek and, you know, all the other, uh, uh, the, the, the pigs or whatever they were. Immediately, Draghi, 85 billion a month printing money. Okay. So... And then after that, after Draghi, now it's gone everywhere. I mean, UK, you know, anybody who wants to, you know, who's facing some problem is now printing it. So which means inflation levels at some point has to go up. It's already up. They're again, you know, putting things into the inflation basket, taking things out. I mean, it's all just manipulation. Okay. But you have to look below the real numbers. You have to look deep below the real numbers too. Do that. And, you know, I don't do that much, but when a certain headline catches my eye, I read it and that. You know, it'll tell me, it tells me the story. So, you know, on average, I, I may read, uh, you know, two such articles a day, but that's it. But it's good to have your pulse at that level, at a very low, lower level. Uh, like, you know, things like how is participation, labor participation rates impacting the U.S. economy? How is obviously, you know, the value jobs, you know, where are the value jobs going? Uh, what jobs are we creating? Is it value jobs or, or low value jobs? So these are things that, that have a very subtle but critical impact on uh, the economy. And of course, financial markets seem to be living in their own world and, you know, they are, like they always do. 
and they have you know they must come down at some point even the smp right i mean it's a 22 what you know 85 or whatever it is that's a crazy level for not so good news that we can all feel and perceive we i mean i don't know about any of you but i i don't think things are right you know i mean there is there is problems deep deep under there is problems and at some point like uh, your what is it old faithful or whatever in yellowstone yeah it's going to come out it has to come out all right let's move on so then okay now that we you know set this backdrop now you can think about your strategies that you would want to deploy in 2017 because now you're clear no, not clear now you at least have a starting point for analysis and that's exactly what it is just like i have a starting point here there will be a million other starting points infinite amount actually but you know it doesn't mean that that you know all those parts are going to be satisfied or i, I can guarantee you none of them will be satisfied in whole 100 percent so but we have to plan for all these things. So now given that that is the, uh, you know, that is the scenario here, we don't know if there's going to be gloom and doom. We don't know if there's going to be a crash, but at the same time, we can see some very powerful forces lining up and sort of converging, you know, you, uh, you, like, a, like a hurricane or a storm has, you know, at least 25 different parameters that all have to come together, you know, in timing as well as intensity and all those things. And, you know, so so that kind of this magic uh, component is, is not there yet, but we don't know. We just have to be vigilant and uh, make sure that we can recognize the signs of that kind of uncertainty when it's actually beginning to play out. Okay. So given that in mind, now let's look at our own individual. Business. In fact, you know, I think 2017 is really a year where normal people who have families, who have working jobs, and you know everybody, including me, including you know you guys, we all need to really take our you know take our approaches, take our thinking to you know three levels higher. We got to do it because there is a sense of urgency here now. Maybe it doesn't happen in 2017. Maybe it happens in 2018. Who knows? But it's going to happen for sure. I mean, there is a price to pay for all this nonsense. Okay, Even just the financial nonsense. So we got to prepare for it. So, and I think this January of 2017 is just the right time to start doing that. All right, so let's talk about how we're going to deal with this thing. And I have my slides all messed up here. So how we deal with this? Yeah, okay. All right, is that good? A little bit more. Okay, that's good. All right, so how do we deal with this thing is, you know, I've written a structural approach to adjustment, but it's not just adjustments. It's how you enter the trades. What is your premise? How long is your outlook? You have to think now much more deeply, much more carefully about all these different issues, okay? So it's not going to be a very simple year. And even though the VIX may think that, you know, there's no volatility, there's no fear, you know, this, that, we are going to see some crazy ups and downs in the market, okay? So there's no question. I mean, these every small uh, event after Trump gets into office, any small ruffling of feathers is going to create an impact, I feel. So then what do we do? We have to look at this kind of a scenario and say, okay, what, you know, what can we do in this market? First of all, I can tell you one, you know, the first thing that comes to my mind, and, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, we don't have the chat because I would love to have your opinions on what is the first thing that you need to do when, it, when you're looking at this kind of a scenario. It's not like you're believing in the scenario, no. But you, what you have to do is be vigilant and careful not to expose yourself too much to one direction because it can turn around. That's all I'm saying. The first thing you would do is you would reduce your time frames for any trade, okay? Any trade. Don't put like a six-month option trade. No way. There's no way. Because during that six months, your position could take a you know, a huge uh, loss with paper at that time, but it doesn't take much for paper to become real. So definitely look at shorter time frames. Get into the deep internals of the market. This is the key, guys, okay? You've got to get into a deep study of market internals. You've got to find a methodology to, uh, you know, derive meaningful information 
from what the markets markets overall are saying. So what I'm saying is, you know, I, I think I do need to open up things, think or swim. But I, so what I'm saying is, look at the indices themselves, and are there ways you can look at them and say, hey, you know, yeah, these, you know, I want to look at the internals, and uh, I will, uh, you know, I, I should be able to uh, uh, get something out of it. So let's go take a look at them. My think or swim will take a little time to start because of all the stuff going on, but that's okay. Um, applications. Harry, I have a little suggestion in the meantime. Please, please mute, That's guys, uh, whoever that is. Please mute yourself. Harry, hey. can you hear me? It's David. All right. So, my think or swim. Where is my think or swim? It's not in desktop. Guys, a little uh, suggestion in the meantime because our guys, chat is now working. Okay. Because our chat is not uh, working. Mic is on, and I'm sorry, it's my fault for now. For, well, you know, go to, I, I cannot do anything about software not working properly. But let me see where, where you guys are. And um, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Who is it now? And why is it limited to 51? I don't get it. Harry, it's uh, David. Can you hear me? Yeah. So I have a little suggestion because the chat is not working. Uh, what people can do in the meantime is go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash options. You know, for some trade. reason, I, can't, I, I can hear you speak, but I can't, you know, exactly get what you're, what you're speaking. Yeah, you know, this is a technology problem, I mean, unfortunately. So anyway, let's, uh, you know, I think just move on and see what we can do as best as we can. So I'll leave Thinkorswim out of it for now. I don't want to start another huge program because Thinkorswim is very memory intensive and uh, can simply just, you know, bring everything down. So, okay, let's move on. And what we're saying is, you know, basically, you know, there's vigilance. And in, uh, yeah, what I wanted to show actually was a scenario of looking at various market internals and uh, trying to judge uh, day by day, day by day, you know, is strength building up? Is there momentum building up to upside, downside? It doesn't matter, okay? So these are all things that we've, over the last year or year and a half, you know, through these trade max sessions, we've been able to sort of go down this path and get very meaningful information, okay? So we have a, you know, I have a very strong uh, basis for looking at the markets, I mean, looking at the market internals and deciphering whether it's bullish, bearish, neutral, whatever it might be. And of course, it's not going to be in that state for very long, okay? I mean, you know, we're not talking because every day is a different day uh, in the markets and you'll see one day you might be up 23 points on the, on the S&P, next day you're down 30, okay? So sentiments if any, are going to be short term. And that's why you need to reduce your trade time frame also accordingly. So now let's see, now that we can't open Think or Swim, which I find very ridiculous. Uh, applications. Why is it not here? Okay, let's start at the basics and say we want to look for think question. And we'll we'll continue. I mean, we're not going to wait for this, but uh, uh, you know, we'll find it now. Added to all these problems is my my machine. I went through the CR upgrade, and it's been hell for me since ever since. So anyway, I think I have the installer here, so that's fine. Um, so we can do that, and uh, let's see. It may tell me that it's already installed. We'll see. Okay, so let's move on. And whenever this thing comes up, we'll uh, take a look at some of those uh, things. So we have our... Um... Okay. So these are some of the things that we have to do. And we need a better indicator than the VIX to you know indicate uh, risk. I mean, it, uh, it makes no sense to call it a volatility. I mean, that's the problem I have with it. You know, you cannot call it a volatility index when one side is not even being considered at all. That's just ludicrous. Anyway, so these are all the issues going on. So we have this. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, we have to jump into 
how is option tiger first of all because we are calling this option tiger 2.0 and I, and we really mean it so what is it that we are going to do this year that can you know give that sense of uh, you know response to that sense of urgency that we may feel and make good you know make good we got to make good because you know once this thing starts going out of control if at all it does then it's too late then it's too late so we got to plan for it right now okay so i think the next one would be option tiger plans and here we go all right so that can be that is visible by on i mean all the information is visible and again i'm now in this webinar i'm, I'm talking from a 10000 foot okay there are lead, there are details to each one of these points on all the slides that i'm not going to get into on this webinar because we are we are talking about a high level understanding and strategy or approach or method or whatever we want to call it we want to take we want to adopt that and keep you know while keeping all these uh, you know other uh, um, uh, developments uh, you know you process that and you know if if something changes your opinion you got to change okay you, you cannot be stubborn with your uh, you know with your uh, belief or whatever it is if you see signs if you see signals that are telling you hey things are changing around and if you can feel it in the general market it, you know you got to change so and that's why i say keep it nimble keep it very uh, you know it doesn't have to be small but it has to be shorter time frames okay literally shorter time frames you don't take at least in options in stocks okay you can do whatever you want because stocks don't have time decay unfortunately op options do and so you know at these low levels of vix you're not going to get any premium that's nothing so it's not worth going into credit uh, trades you only do debit trades and in debit trades we face obviously time decay okay so when i say get engaged again after almost a year i've had a lot of things happen in my uh, on the personal side and so I've been sort of completely out of it. And um, of course, then you had the Trader Max sessions also come in two years, I mean, uh, two months uh, last year, which was April and one was November. So I'll tell you about those. Those are those are really cool. Um, and I have yet to do a sort of uh, overall comprehensive summary video of Trader Max of uh, November, but we have all those metrics from April. And even in these metrics, we know, we know okay, so I'll tell you the numbers. In, you know, in April, we did, I think, 42%, okay, 42% return that, uh, that month, over about 25 trades, I would say. So, we, you know, we, we always assume that we have 100,000, you know, right in the middle of the uh, road there. And with the 100,000, how much can you make? And so, I think in April, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was uh, 40%. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, and that too, within our capital allocation strategy, we never deploy more than 65, 70% of the capital, okay? You need that balance 30% for extreme scenarios, flash crash, and, you know, things like that. Uh, although they might happen very rarely, you have to provide for that. So you can never be using 100% of your capital at any time. So basically, it's like, you know, 40% or whatever on 70% of the capital. So it's like a 50% return or more. But let's not forget about I mean, uh, uh, let's not talk about all that. I, I, I can show that later. So this year, what we're going to do is, you know, you got to be engaged. And so what I mean is you're going to find a lot more interactivity from me. And now that I have some people uh, who are also supporting me, then, uh, you know, I can like, for example, I don't have to worry too much about my marketing because David's around and uh, Carol's also, you know, my assistant, as many of you know, um, she's picking up stuff. I mean, she's basically an assistant, but, you know, she, she's very diligent and she does a lot of hard work. And that's all I want. And we may add one or two more to the team as well. So, um, you know, basically get more active, get more engaged. And now, you know, at least me, since, I, since I'm looking at the indices and, uh, you know, the developments, and most importantly, you know, everything that goes on in the geopolitical circles, because that's really, I think, the where, if at all, a breakdown type catalyst comes, it's going to come from the geopolitical area, much more so than any other, I think. So anyway, so that means what? Now, we've got to focus on accelerated learning models, okay? For all of us, for you, me, everybody, okay? We've got, we got to focus on the word fast. Why? Let's say it's not six months or eight months or even 12 months. You know, if things start going downhill, this time, 
is going to be different, okay? <laughs> Simply because the numbers are just mind-boggling. I mean, there's no country on the you know on earth that can support these kinds of uh, uh, losses anymore. Yes, that big one in 2008, there was the feds who came and backstopped everything pretty much, including foreign banks for that matter. But today, they cannot do it. The feds are not going to... Well, the system will break down if the people don't trust the fed, okay? So today, the fed cannot even enter the market if such a scenario exists. Because that's the only way it's going to go down. Because if the US continues to receive funds from the rest of the world, then the chances of things going really bad are much, much lower. So, you know, we'll see about all that. You know, these are things that you just have to keep in mind. That's all, not over process it. Okay. So, but regardless, when we know that maybe the writing has started, you know, appearing on the wall, perhaps we should take some pre, you know, uh, what do you call that? Uh, pre act, uh, 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 I'm slipping the word now, but basically, uh, proactive, basically, proactive, uh, you know, action. We got to take that. So these are some things that I'm going to be thinking of and doing, and um, we will uh, we will try to get. And I'm not just talking about me. Okay, I want everyone, all of you, to come join this because I sense a sense of urgency. If it doesn't happen, hey, great. Okay, but if it does, we want to be prepared. So. From my side, what I'm going to do is, um, like I said, I'm totally involved back again. You know, things are much more stable on my on my personal side of things. So we'll get back into the markets. We'll I'll come I'll be coming up with new innovative uh, concepts uh, where we all can learn. I do want to make a good interactive bustling community from Option Tiger, which has been missing for the last year or year and a half. Okay. It was there when I first started. When I first started, it was amazing. You know, when Option Tiger first started, that is. So I, I want to get back there and even further. Okay. So, you know, towards that goal, what we are going to do is, you know, I'll be starting some trading rooms. Now, granted, it cannot be all day. Like Trader Max, I mean, Trader Max is an intense thing, but, you know, perhaps, you know, one hour of uh, live market analysis uh, basically after the market opens or, you know, the next day or two we'll do a closing market whatever i mean we, i've got some thinking to do behind this me and david will sort that out but trading rooms uh webinars um you know top topic of the moment uh kind of issues uh, you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll present it uh, more content my blog is going to become very active uh, you know uh, very soon and i i also want to involve the larger community of the you know of option tiger in how you or Someone, you know, at your end can participate and we play this thing as a team. And obviously, if you're participating, you are entitled to receive some compensation and we'll make sure that it's pretty liberal. OK, so these are things that are, those are, you know, we don't have a we don't have a clear strategy yet for that. But for the others, we do. So starting February, we are going to go down this path and take a new Option Tiger 2.0 approach to options and the markets okay so we are ready and we want you to join us we'd love for you to join us because i think it will benefit this is all about speeding up your learning curve guys okay that is at the, at the end of the day options take one to two to three years you know depending on how much time you have to spend on it uh, so we want to speed that up as much as we can because i think everybody needs to be sort of in sync with uh, this scenario, just because it doesn't play out in the next six months or the next 12 months, that doesn't mean it's not going to play out ever. It is at some point we do have to pay the price. I mean, you know, this is not, uh, uh, you know, asymmetrical, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, it's, it's not asymmetrical. At some point, you know, when things get excessive, it crumbles. Okay. So, and we've been excessive for a long time now in, in many of the financial uh, ways. But, no, but now this whole geopolitical thing has just entered. Entered in the last six months, I would say. Okay, let's move on. So it, with that, then uh, what we are going to do is now go over the website. And frankly, oh, I forgot this. I should have done this at the beginning itself. No, sincere apologies for not being that much in touch. But, you know, if you knew, actually many of you know, we've become friends and we've spoken a lot to many of the Option Tiger members. And they know some of the personal issues that, uh, you know, was there last year. So... Going forward, you know, 
it is going to be much more engaged. And so, you know, that is one thing. And, and now we're really coming out with models, new models, innovative models that can speed up this thing so we can, you know, start getting our money back. I mean, money back means I'm talking about, you know, you've invested a lot of time, you've invested a lot of money. You got to get all that back. I mean, you cannot continue to just do that, you know, and when are you going to get paid back? So that's the focus, okay? So now we want to go over to the website because uh, I want to show you, let me go through this also while we are at it. Now, actually, that's a, that's a later one. Okay, let's go to the website and um, I'll show you what uh, you know? What we are up to. So here, um, if I press home, and you will come to this beautiful looking website, isn't it? So, well, David's <laughs> credit, not mine. Okay, so you know this is cool. I'll just quickly run through the different things that we have. We obviously have a cutting edge blog, which I have not contributed to in the last few months. <laughs> Okay, but that's going to change, of course. But uh, I write all the articles. I, I have over 250 blog posts here. Okay, so a lot of information right here. You can click the main categories or the subcategories and you'll get uh, to the post. Next, what we have is, you know, videos. So uh, if, if you don't know, I have over 500 uh, videos on my YouTube channel. Okay, and they all are pretty much free except for a very small percentage. So they're all free. Take advantage of this. Subscribe to YouTube and, uh, you know, you'll get intimated whenever we, uh, we add a video. There's, you know, tons and tons. I mean, and this thing is supposed to scroll, I think, uh, which it might at some point. But uh, besides, you know, if you just go to my YouTube channel, you'll see that, uh, you know, that's what it is. So let me just quickly show you. Yeah, what's the videos? Where are the videos? Okay. Uh, doesn't show a number? Videos, channel, about... That's surprising. That is very surprising. Should show that, should throw out that number right away. But see, they are also changing things. Everybody's in, in, in change mode. So God knows how they're really thinking. But if you do this load more, you, you can keep going down about, you know, 50 pages, I think, at least. And these are all free, guys. Okay, take advantage of it. Now, let's go back to our uh, uh, the website. And um, if you go to, if you go back, go back. Hey, and first of all, there's like free courses, you know, you've you got beginners. So whichever level you are, um, don't worry about, you know, whether these, with the, you know, if you're a beginner, get the beginner. Okay, Don't get intermediate and advanced and don't even look at them because it's not going to make any sense to you. You start at the right level. I'll, I'm guaranteeing you that you'll get all three in due course, but you need to get it in that order. Otherwise, all you're going to do is get confused. Okay. So pick the right level. Even if you want all three right now, just email us. We'll give it to you. But pick your right level. That is important. Next, um, I've got two free eBooks here. I think you uh, may have taken a look at it. You can do that. Webinars, we are going to post our past, uh, past webinar recordings as well as, uh, I think the past is already there. Um, you know, upcoming webinars, whatever we are going to uh, do, we are going to you know, put it out there, okay? So uh, there is there is past webinars, uh, you know, I mean, not past webinars. Uh, yeah, past webinars are there. And I think it's trying to do that same pulling from the YouTube. Uh, that's why it's taking a little time. So we move on. Next, the products, which are the most important thing. We've laid out products, you know, two months ago, I had like 75 products on my site and people were just going crazy with confusion as to like, what is going on here? What, you know, what should we buy first? What should we buy next and all of that so basically we've um, we've put together all the material that belongs in beginners so that you know it's a big bundle like the beginners is going to be like 18 courses or something I mean, so you're looking at like 20 hours of video okay i mean it's not a simple thing um, and so yeah you're, you're looking at and you're going to see completely different uh, look and feel for the website more you know concise but detailed information as well yeah this one has like you know 18 courses in it 18 of the previous uh, model courses. So which means like, you know, each one is like an hour and a, to an hour and a half. So you're looking at serious material in each of these things, okay? So then you have intermediate, you have advanced, you have options, mass, which, which basically are the, ma uh, are the max systems. Yeah. So again, we wanted to just separate those out from the rest because it is a truly different level altogether. And of course, now the trader max, that is a completely different level. Okay, now this is where 
here I, I need to show you guys this email from last just from last uh, uh, just from last uh, trader max which was when november so just just gone by okay so uh, or maybe it's here under this I'm not sure Let, let's see okay no it's not here but it's got it's got to be there somewhere or i'll i'll just pick it up uh, in a bit but you know this trader max was absolutely you know unbelievable this time unbelievable unbelievable why you know you're supposed to win eight trades out of ten but every trade that we put went the other way just after we put it <laughs> it was like a you know like a jinx and uh, you know the moment you put the trade i mean until the trade you're watching 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 and the you know it's going as um, as analyzed but the moment we entered it boom turn around okay <laughs> so that's how it was and so this time was a very difficult session we had to turn around all kinds of trades okay and you know i have to show you this email uh, otherwise you won't understand the gravity of this uh let's see mark <laughs> let's go back to her and mark oh mark right here okay let's open that oh my god uh what okay all right i mean this is his email you know I, I, except for c crossing out his personal information this this is it as is so now let's get it out here where is this okay i've just cut out his uh, uh more uh, personal information last name and uh, what do you call his email and all of that okay but you got to you know let's spend a minute over here and just just read this and i'm going to get a glass of water and i will tell you i mean this is after one week of trader max okay one week so we started i think october 31st and this email was when i just should be anyway he says it also it's in the first week you you, you just read the email a little long but you know but it's absolutely uh, you know phenomenal session and believe it or not even after such bad starts with all these trades i think we lost out lost out only on like three trades maybe okay out of like 20 or something uh, and this time we made uh, close to i would say like 27000 on the 100 so about 27% so not as uh, uh, not as great as uh, you know last time but you know you're, you're never going to keep going up and up and up okay i mean you're going to have this kind of volatility in performance but hey 27% a month is nothing to sneeze at okay so anyway i'll let you guys read this for just a minute i'm going to just pick up a cold glass of water and i will be right back Is this that one? Oh my god, this is not one. This is not Trader Max. Oh. It is Trader Max. Okay, so I think this is just an overall general testimonial. I think <laughs> Now, this is the funniest part. I intend to write a full-blown review. <laughs> <laughs> as if this is not a full blown review that's funny so anyway let me uh, let me be back in just a second uh, there's another email actually this is not the email guys and uh, while harry is away i just want to encourage you to post any questions that you have uh, on our facebook page it is facebook.com/optiontigertrading um and we will look at them at the end and uh, answer any questions that you guys have Okay, I'm back. Um all right, so you know you get the picture uh, that uh, you know you know how it was, but the Trader Max is particularly important because it is Trader Max and uh, you know how people are benefiting from that. You're basically getting a year's worth of 
learning curve in pretty much in four weeks, okay? So that's how fast you're going to move with Trader Max. And by the end, if not, I'll, you know, when I send the recording out, I will send the you know, attachment then. Let's move on. So what we have now is I'm going to be showing you the Option Tiger uh, specials, okay? So we have, uh, for example, and I must point out this. Pricing has always been a challenge. Pricing is a challenge for any startup, any company, until they get the appropriate feedback from customers, from visitors, who buys, who doesn't buy, you know, what is the critical pricing point? You have to figure this out. They, you know, no company can say, okay, I am going to price it at this and this is going to be the perfect level. No chance. I mean, startups have to experiment with that. Why I say this is before, when, you know, when, when I first started uh, Option Tiger in, uh, say, 2012 and 13, some of these Mac systems were being sold at $9.99. Um, certainly, the Trader Max type thing was being sold at uh, 3497 okay, 3497 So what I'm saying is, first, we, you know, I believe my products are high-end, okay? It's, it's difficult for, for people to get this kind of detailed quality in some structure and uh, things like that in the, in the options market. So I priced it high. I actually made a lot of sales that time. But then I was thinking, okay, what if we reduce the price and, um, you know, pull in more demand, right? So I reduced the prices and actually my performance went, you know, the performance went down, frankly, to be honest. And so what was happening, just to share a bit of insight, you know, from my side of things is, you know, when you price high, people believe it's a, high value product okay i mean your brand your brand and your product has you know high value high perceived value and if you don't deliver then you're finished but in our case we delivered so when the prices came down they're like oh okay you're saying it's all that good i mean why is he selling it for 99 bucks you know so it erodes brand value it, it erodes the uh, the strength of your product so you know, David's been working with David and his company and his partners have been working with us for the last, uh, you know, at least about four months now. And so, you know, it's a strategic uh, decision. And so what we did, we didn't increase it. Uh, we've not increased it by any significant amount. It's just a few because we need to come back to that. Um, not price level for the sake of prices, but that level of quality that people will perceive in the product, okay? So we have increased prices from whenever the new site was launched a couple of weeks back. And we're going to stick with that, okay? I mean, now, <laughs> first of all, when many people had paid those high prices and I went to low prices, you know, these customers are pissed off, I'll be honest. Okay, they're pissed off. They're like, hurry, what the hell, man? We paid, you know, 1,900 for two max systems and now it's going for whatever, you know, 800 or 900. So I stepped on the on the feet of those old customers. Now I also told them, whenever I create new products, I will I'll give you free copies because I need to make it up to them, and I will. The thing is, I haven't had time to make any product for at least one and a half years now. Regardless, let's move on. So what I'm saying is, if we go to the website now, and you will see, uh, you know, I think everybody's been used to me giving. <laughs> These ridiculous discounts, 70%, 75% and all. But I'm just going to be honest with you. That is not going to happen anymore. But we don't want to make a clean break like that where people don't have an opportunity to still enjoy my prices rather than pay David's prices, okay? I mean, you know, this is how it is. So I have convinced him that hey, we got to give the, our customer, uh, existing members you know, one more chance. Let's do it. So that's where we are today. And I am going to go to the New Year specials, um, which is a different link. Um, New Year special hyphen 2017 or something. Let me check out I'll have to. Oh, yeah. There it is. Wow, that's great, isn't it? Cool. Okay. Let me let me see what I can do.
There we go. All right. So this is the sales page. Yeah, you, you can see it over here. Optiontiger.com slash option tiger new year. Okay, got it. All right. So this is the specials. Before we show the specials, um, I actually wanted to create this as a video, but I think this webinar format is much, much better. So I'm going to post the recording of tonight's webinar onto this uh, placeholder here. Okay. So here, the first thing is, you know, we want to reinvent, not just for the sake of reinventing, because we think the market is also going to reinvent in many ways. Okay. So that's why we are following that path. And timing wise, it just coincided that Option Tiger needed to reinvent anyway. So this video, this uh, recording will be here by tomorrow morning. So I'll, 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 I'll have updated that. Now, you know, just some brief, you know, bits and pieces here. We all know this. Okay. So we, we just need to be prepared. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. There's no panic. There's no fear, no greed. And we know that there's nothing to be scared of because we deal in options. We don't care which way. I mean, for strictly from a profit standpoint, not from a hardship standpoint around the world. We don't care if it goes up or down. We, we take equal advantage of both sides. In fact, because of the rise in volatility, when you go down, we actually benefit more from the markets going down. Okay. We just have to be nimble enough to recognize temporary patterns. It's all going to be about temporary patterns. No long-term trend will come in unless Putin and uh, uh, Trump and uh, who's the guy in China? I don't even know. Uh, if those three sit in a happy hour and uh, you know get drunk together, you know. Other than that, I don't see any possibility of that. Um, but if there is, if if these three countries can find some sort of stability just in the minds of people, I think a transformational opportunity may emerge to the upside. Okay. Like I said, why or why not agree or disagree? It doesn't matter because nobody knows for 100%. But we have to start thinking about it. We have to start talking about it because important players in the financial markets have already started doing this. Okay, so let's move on now. Now some things get more interesting. Here we're just saying, okay, these are the uh, specials here. Okay, now these prices will be very familiar to you because that's what I've been giving out for uh, a long time. Okay, but now after this, I'm just going to be plain. Please don't, you know, take me, uh, you know, take me as being an asshole or something like that. I'm just telling you the truth. It's not going to come to this prices. So here we are. Options, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Okay, these are regularly 497 and 597, 399, whatever. It's all between 149 and 187. And if you recall the whole, the entire bundle, all, all the stuff, all 47 courses, Usually it's twelve ninety nine, or you know, list price. It's going to go for four, it's going for four ninety nine, four nineteen. It's all on. Okay, this this deal is on right now. Now because of this transition effects from uh, one for our website and two for Teachable itself, they are also going through their growth pains, and therefore there's a little bit of you know issues that are not completely working. But all of you have always done this. If there is any problem. You used to send it to my personal email. You used to go to PayPal and send it to my personal email. You don't need to do that anymore. You can just send it to info at optiontiger.com and that will be an official payment. If if you pay more or if you pay less for something because of all these numbers getting you know crazily uh, uh, cut up, um, if it's a mistake, don't worry. I mean, just you know, if you paid more, I'll give you the refund. We'll give you the refund. If you paid less, you know, I'll ask it. I'll ask for you. <laughs> okay, it's just that simple. But because you know. Just for another month or so, I think this will be a. If you're buying multiple products only, if you're just going to buy one product, go right ahead. So there are there are ways to deal. You know, there are ways to work around this, which is instead of making one transaction, you make four transactions. You have to sit through, spend five or ten minutes, and you know that's about it. But you will get instant access if you take one product at a time. We don't have the cart feature synced up yet properly yet. Okay. So if you were to do the total. You would calculate the total, which all of you have been doing for at least a year or more. Um, and uh, you apply a full discount, okay? Whatever discount is there, you... And like I said, if there's a mistake, we'll fix it. Go to PayPal, put in our email, put in the amount, and boom. Now, because it's a multiple product, we don't know which one it is, and perhaps you will see a note somewhere, okay, uh, where you can specify what, the, what are the products that you want. So I believe there's one in PayPal as well. 
and they may be one at checkout too. So you might have two chances to provide that input. And if you do provide that input, we'll get going right away with the access. Okay? But it might still take 24 hours because it's manual. It's not, it's not automatic. And that's only for a month. Okay? That's it. The Option Tiger Express is leaving. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, we are going on to the phase two. Okay, We are going on to 2.0. So we're not going to come back here. And, you know, so David and his team are maintaining a strict control on pricing, which I agree with. In principle, I agree with that because, you know, these are high-end products. There's no question. So we'll still be very reasonable in the market, I think. Uh, who was that who paid like $22,000 for uh, either Sheridan or Invest Tools by Ameritrade? I think somebody, there was a couple of emails floating around on that. Uh, but regardless, you can, if you see our regular product pricing and let's go to obviously one of the higher ones you'll see condo max is uh, going to be like what 697 yeah that's the pricing that's normal and going forward you're not going to see more than 20 percent off 25 percent off i'm just being honest guys okay i'm just being honest if you want to pick things up this is the time okay and you know it's not like we're greedy or anything no the value of the product is such then we also have, again, a, you can call it an early bird Trader Max deal, okay? Because this thing also, Trader Max is $24.97. It includes one Max system, but it's $24.97. So that's why I want to show that Max email because it's a costly product. I have no question. But if you see the value that you get out of it, uh, it's actually 10 times what you pay for it. Because we all know, let's face it, okay? We all know it is so easy to lose 2,500 bucks in one trade in one day. All right, let's face it. If you may not be having that kind of an account size, that's okay, but proportionately, you will you will see. I mean, you know, with options, you have to go with 100% uh, of your capability. So you have to build your capability first, and then you have got to go in 100%. One mistake can cost you a lot. So think about these prices from that context and that perspective is like, you know, what do you lose on an average trade when you lose? Okay, it, compared to that, this is nothing. And you're getting value here. You're, now you're really picking up some uh, deep uh, knowledge and uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, methods and approaches and things like that. So, you know, it's, it's and, and, and this is your, all your life, right? I mean, because options are not going to change. It's mathematical, it's, it's, it's fundamental foundation is in math. Why would the math change? Nothing, it's not gonna change. If it changes, then those two guys who got Nobels, they, you know, we have to pull it back from them because their model is flawed or their formulas are flawed. You know, so as, as of now, you know, you know, the probability of that happening is pretty much close to zero. So it's not going to change, people. You know, this is like profound, huh? I'm telling you. This is the one reason that I got into options. Of course, I, you know, I love math and I love this kind of thinking. But um, once you realize that you can be 75 years old sitting on some island somewhere, enjoying life. And when the US market turns on, boom, you turn on. And, you know, if you do it well, obviously, you know, you can have a few hundred dollars, few thousand dollars going in uh, on a weekly basis, uh, daily basis, who knows? I mean, it all depends on your account size and the kind of trading that you do. But my point, you know, the point is, this can, this is your vehicle for true lifelong independence in terms of both financial, and in terms of your life uh, itself, you know, I mean, you, you, uh, geography, weather, none of these are factors anymore. Go and live in the best place in the world and you can still participate in this market. Okay, so think of it from that perspective. Um, I can guarantee, and you know, this is another thing that there are, you know, on our Udemy, which I want to show you next, because, you know, this is where the reviews are. And if you see, uh, you know, the, um, you, know, you know, the reviews, it's, it's, it's just mind boggling. Right. So how many reviews do I have Yeah, they, they used to say it at the top, but now they're saying it in the bottom. Two, two, four, two. OK, two, two thousand two hundred and forty two reviews of my courses here. OK, and we have what, like about twenty five thousand students here. Uh, you can see pretty much everything goes five star, you know, blah, blah, blah. Occasionally, one guy will come and put a one star because you know he's just pissed off. You didn't follow his, uh, you know, or he sent me an email. And we exchanged information, and uh, you know, I am I am not going to sugarcoat anything. 
uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, when I respond to these guys, and so uh, you know, there's examples of that as well. Where you know, I'm not going to budge you. Okay, you want to give me a one? Go ahead. You know, fine. So let's do a, just a little bit of analytics on this. So this is all courses, uh, one star, two, tra- two star. Okay, so 2,200 in total. Now, if I just put the five star and the four star, okay, just the top. If I put the five star and the four star, guess how much that is. I'm sure you'll be not able to guess. 1962 out of 2,200, okay? That's 90%, four and five. So that's the kind of information that you should go by. Udemy is great in that sense because you have a clear picture of which product is good and which product is not based upon totally unconnected reviews, uh, you know, to the instructor and the instructor has no way to manipulate this. No chance. I mean, this is original social proof from other people like you who can get a good picture of what you can expect from these things, okay? That's all, I just wanted to mention that. Now, let's go back to our, uh, I think we finished off on the specials and the reviews and then there was one or two things I wanted to cover. Yes, let me cover that first. Okay, once again, we need to go to our, Okay, please, I, I want you guys to just note this because I mean, it's not that, you know, it's some, something serious or anything, but in this country, we have to do this. And so I, I also have to do this. I've given a special disclaimer on this page. Please read it and make sure that you comply. I'm sure all of you will. There's no question because there's nothing, you know, sort of sinister or anything over here. It's just a plain stating of fact, which is whatever I say in this video or on this webinar is my opinion only. It's not been verified or corroborated by anyone else. And it is one starting point for analysis, just like there can be an infinite number of starting points. Anything that impacts the financial markets, we need to, we need to look at it and we need to sort of analyze that. So anyone using this video or, a, or this webinar as a uh, interpretation of, uh, you know, uh, of my personal opinion, uh, in their trading and investing activities, I'm sorry, you're doing it on your own risk. Okay, we have by accessing this page itself, uh, you know, you are you are submitting to that, and there's nothing illegal about that. All right, let's move on. Um, I think there's only one or two subjects left um, in the in the in the presentation, and uh, let's see if we have. Uh, I think Hussein is also not working. I think so. Regardless, let's see goals and plans. Yep. All right, so let me reduce that a little. So when we say the express is leaving, it's just we are, we are we are going into a new phase, okay? And we want you to join us because this is a kick-ass phase, to be honest with you. And this is where things are at. And how we are going to do that, you know, on a monthly subscription plan, what is involved, which trading room, or whatever it is, that clarity will be coming in the next month to two months. All right, and so by, by first quarter, we want to be ready with our, not just a overall strategy, but you know, put things into action, put things into implementation and uh, go in the direction that we want. So that will happen in the first couple of months. So this, this train is leaving in that sense, okay? So jump on board, come on. It doesn't matter how early you are in this game. It's always better to be part of a group that is also going through this, okay? And especially with options because some good clean information is just not available that freely. If it is available that freely, it's completely disjointed. I mean, yes, you might read one article or see one video which was, which, which was uh, you know, brilliant. And I, I, I see those every day. But where is the continuity, okay? I mean, you got, you got to lead from one to the other. There's a reason why they have four years of college courses structured in the way they are because you have you need that order options are not simple they are complicated stuff so don't take anything for granted with options i mean that is my biggest advice because it's very true you know i might sound like don Rum, donald rumsfeld but you don't know what you don't know and what you don't know is going to hurt you at some point and that hurt will be in thousands of dollars okay I'm not just pulling this out of my hat, okay? By the way, let me tell you, my first two years, I've lost 
a lot of money. Okay, it took me another two years just to sort of come back to you know sea level. So be careful with options. Don't take them for granted. Don't take them lightly. You need the education. It's not possible for someone to do two months of uh, med school and practice medicine. It's not possible. Uh, and this is no different. Okay, I mean from a deep technical. Um, you know, academic challenge, it's the same thing. Options are very tough. And especially now you're dealing with the real markets where there are real sharks, the money, the, you know, the market makers, uh, the platform guys. I mean, everybody's a shark in this. There's no, I mean, you're up against some serious people here in the options market specifically, as opposed to like the stock market, because stock market is now almost 99% peer to peer, right? I mean, if you want to buy something, there is a seller. The Middleman, the market maker, doesn't take any risks. He just matches up this guy to that guy. And that's why they can do that business with a $9.99 fixed uh, flat uh, commission because they're not taking any risk. But that's not the case in options. We are priced on a per contract basis. And there's a reason for that. It's because the market maker takes the risk on every contract that they trade. So for that kind of taking of risk, they need to see some reward. And how do they get that reward? They are given legally a lot of flexibility to set bid ask prices, you know, the spread and calculate volatility. Now that is the clincher because if you change volatility by 1% in your calculations, that could be a difference of a few thousand dollars. Volatility is like, you know, unbelievably important to option prices. And the fact that it is actually not, you know, tangible, it's not uh, clearly visible, makes it even more tough to play the volatility game. I think we all know that. So basically, you know, get onto a plan, get onto a method, get onto a system. Systematic approaches is, is the only thing that will work in the options market, okay? So we are leaving. We want all of you to join us, if you can. Uh, so one last time, we are discounting the product prices. And after that, you won't see those prices. We, you, you will definitely see some discounts every now and then. But uh, the plan is not to devalue the product. The plan is not to devalue uh, the high quality that, that is going into all these products. Okay. So with that said, I do want to, and yeah, please, this is one thing. Okay. I need, if, if, you, got, if, if you want to be an expert in this market, you got to give yourself one to two years. Absolutely. And you got to commit to it. So which means if you say you're going to look at it for 10 hours a week, you're going to study it 10 hours a week, you got to do it. And if one week you don't do it, you got to catch up. Okay. That's the commitment that's required from your side. If you, if you don't keep up, then no amount of these, I mean, of course, they, they'll be helpful. And, I, and I'm fully aware that, you know, most of you have other jobs and you're not dealing solely with the markets. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fully sympathetic to that. And, uh, and therefore, your speed is going to get slowed down. And therefore, I put more people in the two to three year range than the one to two years just because of that fact. So given that and given that you don't have time, you know, something like this is going to make real sense to you. So we'll do that. We'll do it. Uh, as I said, you'll continue to start. Receive, I mean, you'll continue to see emails from us. David will also be engaging in some conversations with all our uh, community. But we are truly ready to take this thing three levels higher. And Option Tiger is the horse that you should bet to. Okay, great, guys. Unfortunately, I cannot see your questions. It, it, it's such a shame. I don't believe it. Uh, if you don't mind, if you do have questions, absolutely just put them in a bullet point order in, and send me an email. Send uh, you know uh, info at optiontiger.com. Okay, I must have that slide at least. I don't. Unbelievable. Okay, but it's your typical, you know, the thank you slide that you see everywhere. Uh, you all know the coordinate. Info at optiontiger.com. You cannot go wrong. All right, folks. Unfortunately, we can't have it more interactive than this. I'm really disappointed, but we'll do it the next time. Hopefully, everything will be in full working order then. All right. So, any questions? Info at optiontiger.com. Thanks for stopping by. And this deal, these special prices are till this Sunday night, okay? Let me point that out. Sunday night, midnight, Pacific time. Not Eastern time, Pacific time. So you get, you know, three hours more.
I mean, forget all that, you know, who's going to go to the last minute and, you know, do it. Get on, get on the program. See what you, see what you're missing. Think of yourself, you know, where is it that, you know, I'm going wrong. You know, when you, when you feel that you're going, you're, you've understood everything, you're doing the right things, but something is going wrong, which means this is where what you don't know, you don't know. That comes into play there. If your trade is not working properly, even though you've done it to the best of your ability, then there is some hidden factor that you don't know about. Okay, I guarantee you that. That's the only way you learn. Now, I learned all this by trial and error. I think I've mentioned it uh, many times. That trial and error is very expensive. Okay, very expensive. Don't go down that path. Don't think that spending $3,000 or $4,000 on a program like this is, is big money. No, it's not. I can guarantee you that. For the value you get from this and the kind of guiding principles that you can follow from not just part of being a community, but also from my webinars. And you know, we'll be a lot more in interaction going forward. Okay. Now that is worth a lot more money than $3,400 or $500 or $4,000. Okay. So think about it from that perspective, guys. And take your actions. If you have any questions, send me an email. I will speak to everybody soon. Thank you very much for all the support over the years and the trust that you've placed. I couldn't have done this without that. Okay. Good night, folks. I'll speak to you soon.